So, when I can't be bothered to do any boarding, I just do a little bit of sweeping up to make it look like I'm actually working. To be fair, in the last vlog we did, everyone it's saw the, the knife. Got loads of sugar in it. Got loads of sugar in it. Oof. Enjoy. Why is it my fault? Because you were the one turning around at the board. Oh. That's the first one. Always make sure the first one's correct. Okay, so the challenge is, Luke doesn't think I can get on these stilts without touching the wall. So we're going to give it a go. Just so you know, Jesus, these are high. What's up YouTube, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to do another vlog. Hooray! It was uh, surprising just how many people had nice things to say about the uh, last vlog that we did um, a couple of weeks ago. So thank you everyone that uh, showed their support, those that watched the video, etc., and those that wanted to make another one. So here we are. Uh, we have tried several times <laughs> to do another vlog, but through various reasons, um, that didn't work out. Uh, we were actually working on a really nice house uh, last week. I think it was uh, the house of the person who used to, uh, who was the author of Peter Pan or something like that. Um, really amazing house. What I'll do is I'll actually uh, put a clip in the in the video here so you can see the uh, the house that we were working on. And really we wanted to do a uh, a vlog on that job but it was one of those ones where it was a fight from the start to the end. We didn't end up finishing until about half past seven. It was an absolute pain in the neck. We managed to get it done but uh, Luke was like thank goodness we didn't uh, we didn't do a video on this job. <laughs> it went terrible. Um, but yeah, it just, one of those turned up blind. We, uh, we priced it over FaceTime, which, uh, that was a real amateur move. I should have done that. It's the FaceTime videos. They're so tightly cropped and we turned up and there was paper on the wall and the walls were in terrible condition. There was distemper everywhere. We ended up having to mesh the whole lot, um, before we blasted it. So uh, it was a bit of a late finish. So we could have done without that. But anyway, today... It's absolutely freezing cold in the United Kingdom. We're uh, we're just going through a bit of a cold snap. It was minus three, minus four. I know for those that watch in, in places like Canada and what have you, minus three is like a summer's day. Uh, but in the UK, as soon as it goes below about one degree, uh, everyone stops, everyone starts driving really weird uh, and what have you. So uh, that's what we're going through right now. And we've had uh, pretty decent weather this summer, so. <laughs> the uh the cold weather is not particularly uh, appreciated but anyway the job that we are doing today we've got a, a fairly large bedroom ceiling that we've got a board and then plaster uh luke's told me that he's got to go i think he's got something uh, one of his kids schools i think at two so he's leaving at two uh so uh, lucky me so uh, fingers crossed we can board this as quickly as possible and then get a cell on so, here's the crime scene for today. What do you think, Lukey? Mint lad. You always say that. When are you going to say it sucks? So, the homeowner has taken all the laths down. All the lath and plaster and all the laths. They've actually done an amazing job. Far better than uh, we would have done, that's for sure. We probably would have left half the, uh, half the screws and the nails and what have you up. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a crack in smashing this boarding out as quickly as we can. As we said, uh, Luke is going at two o'clock, aren't you, mate? Yep. So uh, sadly, I can't uh, make fun of Luke today because um, <clears throat> I said to uh, Luke, oh, yeah, we'll meet at Wix at 7.30 in the morning. And I may have turned up at like 7.55. Uh, at Wix and Luke had already sorted the van out. He'd already loaded the boards up, already loaded the plaster. So uh, sadly today it was me that was late and not Luke. So uh, a change. yeah, it does make a change. Well done, mate. You must feel so proud, don't you? <laughs> well done, mate. So we're gonna get smashing with this, see how we get on and uh, fingers crossed we can get this done as quickly as possible. Dun, dun, dun. How are you doing, Luke? Yeah, all right, mate. How's it going? Yeah. Loving the T-square this morning. Nice. You enjoying the ceiling? Yeah, flying, You are basically steaming. We've been going for about five hours. We've put three boards up. 
We haven't really been going for five hours. We've actually been going for about seven minutes. So uh, it's actually not going too badly for once. Unfortunately, it's one of those really annoying ones where the joists are about 30 mil in the wrong place. So we're having to cut nice big lumps out, as you can see. But Luke's brought his A game today. I think it's because he doesn't actually want to go at two o'clock today. If he can, he'd like to go at probably half past one. Um, but yeah, the other funny thing as well is, uh, so I was doing a little bit of a uh, video and then the homeowner walks in and gives me this look of, who are you? What kind of loser have I just uh, allowed to come into my house? And I just said, do you not know who I am? I am Luke Smithers. <laughs> Uh, no, he was like, I was like, oh, no, no, we do YouTube videos. We get paid for them. And he was like, oh, you'll have to uh, send me the link. And I'm like, no, I won't, because then you'll realise how badly we did this job. No, no, I'm joking. But he was looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? So uh, some of the uh, Eagle Eyed viewers looking on the uh, time lapse will notice that I have been using single screws for drywalling uh, this ceiling. Uh, while Luke uses collated, I uh, thought to myself, do you know what? I've seen these American dry liners using singles and they look the business. Australia as well, they definitely look way better than we are. Um, Luke, what do you reckon to these single screws, mate? Yeah, they're good if you uh, can be bothered. Collated is the way to go. I'm sorry for anyone that uh, is too cheap to buy collated screws. Are you even a plasterer? No, it is way longer. It is nice for a change, but would I do this on the regular? No. No, singles definitely suck. It's good for hundreds. It's good for hundreds, isn't it? That's because they don't make a collated gun. The least I'm aware of will take a hundred mil screws. Yeah. But definitely singles suck. So uh, for those in America, Canada, Australia, that tend to bang uh, singles all the time. Kudos to you, because I tell you what, it's way hard work uh, than I'm used to. So I think I'll be sticking to the collate after this one. So, when I can't be bothered to do any boarding, I just do a little bit of sweeping up to make it look like I'm actually working. So I can leave Lukey to do all the hard work. You're on fire, mate, you are. What are we up to? 15 minutes in? <laughs> oh, 15 minutes in. I you up my board. <laughs> yeah, Luke screwed up a board. Although, check this out. Hello. Lovely. What's going on here? What have you done there, mate? Well, it's that one, it's not right, is it? Oh. This one's me. This one goes right into those timbers there, look. Yeah, that so. That one's not nice. So, uh, what happened here then? Well, that's where that one's not straight. Oh. We've gone off that wall rather than this wall. Oh, whose fault's that? Uh, yours. Oh. Why is it my fault? Because you're the one to get the board. Oh. That's the first one. Always make sure the first one's correct. <laughs> now, you also may be wondering as well, some of you may have seen these little beauties on the YouTube channel. We uh, did a short and a video on this recently. And you might be thinking, Alex, why are you not using a board mate. Well, it's quite simple. I am. Here, he's my mate, and he knows how to board. Apparently he's also a complete knob, swinging the rafters. Be so fun if he fell off. Would I cut that out of the video if he fell off? No. No, in absolute truth. Um, if it's two of you and you both know how to board, admittedly Luke doesn't know how to board, hence why he did that really quality joint. You can see it right up there. Look at that. <laughs> to be fair, in the last vlog we did, everyone saw... Is it nice? Got loads of sugar in it. Got loads of sugar in it. Oof. Enjoy. You're probably... Is it tasty? Let's get a little close up. Some syrup. Let's get a little close up on Luke's face. The spoon will stand up in that. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Oof. <sighs> nice cup You'll also notice as well, check out Luke's new hat. Mm -hmm. Carhartt. You might be wondering why did he buy a Carhartt? It's quite simple because he couldn't afford a Filson. So, so he bought that cheap crap instead. Do you know, 
I absolutely love wearing stilts. It is a lot quicker. I don't always wear them, to be perfectly honest with you, because getting a big bucket on the ceiling, oh, on a hop-up, sorry, is an absolute pain. However, there is one thing I absolutely hate, and it is these blooming things here. Now, don't get me wrong, the Sir Pro stilts, if you know anything about stilts, they are arguably the best stilts on the market. But even though these are very expensive and these are very good, you can literally be on these all day, they still have eight bolts that you have to undo and then redo. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five. Uh, that you have to undo and then redo every time you want to do okay. a new ceiling. New ceiling height. So the one that we're on at the moment is about 2.7 meters high. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, five. So you have to literally undo one, two, three, four, five, eight of these for the two stilts and then when you're finished you got to take them off and then collapse it back down again it's such a pain in the ass the other downside as well it's also one of the other reasons why i don't use stilts all the time for those that are wondering because i am six foot two um on a standard 18 to 36 inch still which is the most standard size uh, I am actually too tall for these stilts. One, two, three, four. Um, so I'm actually going to buy another pair, which is the 15 by 24. One, two, three, four, five. Why does that not look great? Uh, which is the 15 by 24. <clears throat> Um, so, yeah, that'll be another 330 quid I have to spend on blooming stilts. As you can hear, Luke is making a mess. a mess. He's struggling with a really straightforward, easy bit of the ceiling, and he's been on it for about 20 minutes. There we go! I've told you a million times to stop exaggerating. Stop it. It was 20 minutes. Why does that not feel right? It looks like it's leaning forward. Look how high that is. Ooh, ooh, it's halfway up my thigh. It's going to be fun getting these puppies on. Okay, so the challenge is Lukey doesn't think I can get on these stilts without touching the wall. So we're going to give it a go. Just so you know, Jesus, these are high. Okay, <clears throat> wish me luck. Right, I'm right. not going to be able to catch you either. Because you've got the camera. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Good luck getting your leg around the front That's and in. Whoop. 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 <laughs> I'll tell you, it's not going to happen. You've got to get your leg around the front. I know. Whoop. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> I thought you had it then. They just feel weird. I feel like just I go know. up against the wall. I'm not going to. I will do this. <laughs> for, the, for the channel. This could be a rest in peace vlog because Alex died. Here we go. Oh. Oh. oh, look at that. He's done it. Whoa. Hang on. Brace yourself. Getting down is going to be horrible, wouldn't it? Is it too late to say? Ah, Christ. Well, I've still, today, still never come off the stilts, but, oh, that's straight in my car. Never There's say never. time. Look at that, perfectly engaged. Whew. God, they are high, aren't they? I don't particularly like wearing the stilts this high, to be honest with you, but it's 
ceiling this high. You're a pro at the, the high stilts, aren't you, Luke? <laughs> You've done plenty of high ones. Right, nice. For the channel, managed to get it up there. First time ever. So you may have noticed it is now another day and all of a sudden, mysteriously, uh, the vlog stopped dramatically. Um, basically, the long and the short of it being is that the day ended up running uh, a bit long um, and it was getting relatively close to when uh, Luke uh, had to go. So we ended up basically just knuckling down and getting it to uh, plaster as quickly as we could. Um, I had to do some pretty major adjustments to the uh, stilts to stiffen them right up. Um, I forgot because it's been a while since I uh, increased the length or the height, sorry, uh, of the stilts. But when you do that, you then have to stiffen the springs up because it dives the stilts forward, which is actually why I was struggling so much to get uh, get on them. So um, it was a little bit precarious. Uh, plastering the ceiling on those stilts. I know Luke was struggling quite a bit as well. Um, last few times he's been on the stilts, his strap kept dropping down and, and what have you, and it was making him a little bit uh, uneasy being um, so high uh, on the stilts and them um, not being supported properly on his calf. Uh, so we ended up just basically knuckling down and just getting the, getting the job done. So sadly, uh, you missed the rest of uh, the video it wasn't particularly exciting in the end because um, we end up basically having to change from tomfoolery to just basically knuckling down and smashing it out which is essentially what happened so uh, yeah a couple of days uh, have now passed um, it's pretty fun and games on the road now um, certainly where we are in the southeast we've had a, a sort of a, a dabbling of snow so um, yeah, the road's now uh, very icy, very snowy. It was quite funny last night, so uh, I ended up basically uh, goofing around in the truck in the snow, uh, just helping uh, people out that were uh, stuck in the snow, and then uh, Luke couldn't uh, couldn't get back from Folkestone, so uh, we ended up driving to, to Folkestone to go and pick him up. Uh, so I'm absolutely knackered. It is now Monday morning. We didn't get in till probably half past 12, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, from Folkestone, uh, you know, all of these cars are just abandoned in the middle of the road. Um, yeah, as I said uh, at the start of the video, as soon as uh, in the UK, as soon as bad weather comes in for the first time, uh, everyone seems to forget how to drive and ends up driving like absolute wallies. Um, but I, admittedly, that is rich for me to say that, given that uh, obviously we drive four by four, but there we go. So anyway, sorry we had to cut the, uh, the video short. It was probably running a little bit long anyway. Uh, we're on a, another one today, we're on a, on a bedroom. It was, uh, we had to bring this one forward as a builder that um, we were gonna go, um, the job we were gonna go to. It was gonna be that, um, to finish off that loft conversion that uh, we did the vlog on last time. But sadly, uh, they're still not ready. So uh, I've moved some stuff around. So we're now gonna be tackling the bedroom today. Um, so yeah, that'd be fun and games. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, we hope you've uh, enjoyed it and uh, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. And we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.